So again, Satan's angels came in, put on flesh. They were full of wisdom and supernatural abilities. And to remove the trust of God and put it in the trust of evil. And this is where many myths started from, like Zeus and, and all of these other goofy religions. And all these Greek mythologies and all of this other stuff started with these angels of Satan who put on flesh because they had supernatural powers and they had wisdom. And their whole purpose was is to remove the trust in God and put it in the trust of self or evil or in man. Why? Because they know that the word says, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and curses is the man who trusts in man. So we see that he produced these unseen spirits, expanding his kingdom to influence mankind to mistrust God and to trust in the tree of good and evil. Keeping them, keeping mankind in a temporary realm and blinding them until death. So his purpose was to constantly lead mankind in the eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which would continually keep them blind. So people think that they're good. Hello, I'm a good person. Well, the, uh, hell is filled with good people. There's only one way home. See, those who eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil do not understand righteousness. They understand good and evil. But only those who eat of the tree of life understand righteousness because the righteousness does not come from man. It comes from God. Amen. See, so the devil, his whole purpose from the beginning is to exalt himself as God so that people can trust in him and not trust in God. Even though there's places you can still go to and you can pick up money and it says in God we trust. But now we know that the God that they're talking about is not the God that I serve. There is a God of money too. Amen. And the Bible says the love of money is the root to all evil. Go to Genesis 11. So man destroyed the earth with the flood and all those demons had somewhere to, were looking for somewhere to go. In Genesis 11 and verse 1, I want you to begin to look at this because this whole time, the whole purpose was to remove in God we trust so that it would be an evil we would trust. See, people became a little bit wise to evil, so <laughs> good had to be produced. <laughs> so now people who thought that they were good were okay. They were safe. I'm a good person. Sorry. In verse 1, the whole earth had one language and one speech, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Shinar is Iraq. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. Now remember, they were all one language now. And they said, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. Let us make a what? Name for who? Ourselves, not our God, not our creator, but for ourselves. And, and let us be scattered abroad over the face of lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. So they wanted to make a name for themselves, build a tower that would reach heaven so that they could be like God. So they could make a name for themselves, but not a name of God. Now they also wanted to build this tower because they did not want to be scattered through the earth like they were with the flood. So they thought if they could build a tall enough tower, they could escape the flood of God because they knew what they were doing was wrong. Are you with me? But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, indeed, the people are one and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. 
Now nothing that they purpose to do will be withheld from them. Let us go down and there confuse their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of the earth and they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel because there the Lord confused the language of the earth and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all of the earth. Again, after the flood, the influence continued to mistrust God and trust in self, which is the offspring of darkness. Wanting to make a name for themselves above the name of God, they built a tower to escape from the judgment that would cause a scatter through the flood that happened during Noah's time. But God messed up, messed their language, their understanding up. I mean, man, he, he interfered, he, he interceded, he, he blew their whole theology and, and everything else and, and scattered their plans. And what did he do? Because they had understanding and they had wisdom. Does everybody understand this? They had understanding and wisdom, but that understanding and wisdom was not from above, it was from beneath. So with that understanding and wisdom, nothing would be withheld from them if they did it in unity. How are you listening? So God came down and scattered their language so they could no longer communicate, preventing or delaying an, an inner communication with man in hope of the communication with God and trust would be established. Are you listening? Amen. So here, I, I, I please understand, it's just another move in the area where Satan is always trying to bring that arena into your life and mankind to not trust in God, but to trust in yourself or to trust in anything else. Has everybody got it? In Genesis 22. Because in the Bible say, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. Amen. Then he goes further and he talks about, don't forget about giving of your first fruits, your first increase. Amen. Because he knows that there would be a controversy there. That people will begin to trust in their materialism and mistrust in him. Even though God would bless them with the talents to begin to bring forth materialism to help life easier, but they would begin to trust in their materialism instead of trusting in God. But you got to ask yourself, what about when it, what, what if something were to happen to her? No more doctors, no more pharmacies, no more place you can go buy food, no more place you can go buy clothes. No more television. No more phones to communicate. No more transportation. No matter what you try to do, you try to start your car and it wouldn't work anymore. What would happen if all of these things no longer worked in your life that you trusted in? What would you do? Well, I'm telling you, it's going to come to a point where all of these things are going to manifest. And you've got to come to a point where you are totally trusting in God. In God, we trust. And not in good and evil or materialism. In Genesis 22, is everybody there? In verse 15. Read it with me, please. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, who was Isaac. Blessing, I will bless you. And multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. Whoa. In your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice so Abraham returned to his young men and they rose and went together to Bathsheba and Abraham dwelt in Bathsheba God chose a nation and a promise to carry the truth through his descendants and the descendants of Abraham Isaac and Jacob that a nation would be birthed 
called Israel. 